Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. So I'm about to pick up my phone at the Best Buy store at Davey and they already have it ready for me to pick it up. This is a Cricut Samsung Galaxy A10e and it was on a special for $80 plus taxes is gonna be like 85 bucks. My goal is to unlock this phone so I can use it with any uh, GSM carrier. We're gonna see if we can unlock it, all right guys? So here I have it guys, it was the last unit. Looks like these guys are really popular. The only reason I got it is because it's cheap. This is a 5.83 HD display and it has the teardrop front camera. It's eight megapixels rear, five front. They put Android operating system. Why you don't put Pi or something guys, come on. 3000 milliamp battery and this is the phone guys. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna try to unlock it. 79.99 plus $5.60, a total of 85.59. So we're gonna continue with the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Let's just open the, the device. What comes with this phone? So this is the phone itself, and we see we have a charger, and we're gonna check if we have a USB Type-C charger. On all the AT&T prepaid phones, the SIM card comes inside the phone. With Cricut, it comes outside, so this is better. So this is the phone, this is how it comes, you know? Look, it's kind of loose. Okay, yeah, you can just pull it from like that. And I accidentally turn on the device. So this is how the device start. The device has a beautiful, it has a nice size because it's kind of the widest perfect for you to grab it. I do have big hands, but it's still, you know, so this is the device, it's turning on. You can see the back here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beautiful device. One camera and one flashlight. You have the Cricut logo here, Samsung logo here, IMEI number. You have the power button, volume up, volume down. USB type C, we're gonna check it out right now, guys. Nice detail, SIM ejector tool. Again, this is the SIM card from Cricut. This is the charger. It's not a fast charger, but this is the charger. And what you're gonna see now is if this is a USB type C connector or not. And it is, guys, USB type C. On a budget phone, that's a beautiful thing. And now you don't need to think about what end goes up or down because you can put it like this or like that. That's the beauty of the USB type C. Plus it's faster, you know? All right, guys, so this is done. And let's configure the, the phone really quick. So it's gonna be English. I'm gonna put, I have read everything. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna put skip for now. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. And I can see that the, the keyboard is really nice, guys. I like the keyboard. It's soft, it's responsive. Connected, nice. Next, checking up for updates. This may take a few minutes. So it's gonna ask me to sign into Google. I'm gonna skip this. Google services, I'm gonna disable all of this because this is pretty much tracking you, every single thing you do. I'm gonna click accept, not now. I'm not gonna put any kind of protection. Skip anyway. Add in finishing touches. This might take a few minutes. Get recommended apps. This is good, guys. So it's not putting uh, bloodware. It's recommending apps to us. I don't have a Samsung account, but if you have, sign in. I'm gonna skip it. Uh, and it's here telling you why it's good to have a Samsung account. Samsung Cloud, Store, a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna click, click skip. All done, finish. Okay, guys, so this is the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Look at this, the screen is beautiful. Let me check really quick the um, the display. Look at the brightness. I'm gonna put it up a little bit. Outdoor mode is gonna be really bright. That's why they have the option. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, really bright, but not, this is not the case. Night mode. We were able to configure the phone. We have it working. What is this? It's doing some uh, setups. And let me check on the software version though. About the phone. And you can see here, the model is the SM810U. Serial number, the IMEI number, the status. You know, I don't have any SIM card, so that's it. But um, I want to see the software information. Look at this, this is the One UI version, 1.1, Android version nine. So this is the Pi. You have Pi, guys. The security patch, you have December 1st, 2019. And we know that there's a January 1st, 2019. So maybe we're gonna need to update this. Software update, let me click there. Check for updates, just to see. And we're checking right now. It's downloading here. I think it's the Google Play, installing three of eight applications. And you can actually see what applications are those. Current software is up to date. But look at this, we have 15 updates pending. We can do all of them or we can check 
individually. Let's say I want to update YouTube. I just click here and it's going to update YouTube only for now. All right, guys. So I think this is the first setup. It's a beautiful device. I do like the size. It's cool. It's a 5.83 HD+. Plus. Oh, look at this. So everything's on, on the right, huh? Gallery. I'm going to try to open that print screen so we can see um, if we click on details, it's going to tell us resolution 720 by 1560. So this is the resolution of the Samsung A10e. And now, guys, for the people that are skeptical, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to put a SIM card from AT&T just to see if it works. So we have the SIM card and we have a, we can put a SD card, put an AT&T SIM card. In theory, it should work because Cricket, it's part of AT&T. I mean, they use the same network. Look at this. We noticed that you have a new SIM card. Do you want to unlock this service? Hmm, I never seen this before, guys. I'm putting no thanks. I just want to see if this is going to work or not. The phone is so light, guys. This is great. Emergency calls only, so that means that we don't have service. I'm going to click on the status, SIM card status, network not available. Network not available, guys. So it looks like it doesn't work with an AT&T SIM card unless we put unlock the device, right? Which I don't think is going to do it. Let me see if there's an unlock app. But I don't see any unlock app. Let's try something, guys. Let's try something. I'm going to put it again, take it out and put it again. And let's see if it's going to ask us again if we can unlock the device or not. I'm going to press device unlock. Boom. The Allow my cricket to make and manage phone calls. Allow. Do you want to unlock your device? Oh, look at this, guys. If your service with cricket is still active, you can still use your phone as normal until your service is deactivated. Do you want to unlock your device? I'm going to put unlock. Loading, please wait. Sorry, this device cannot be unlocked. Okay? So, sorry, guys. We cannot use it with AT&T, which is weird because I thought you can. And, of course... If I put the Metro, it's gonna be even worse. It's probably gonna be even worse. Hold on. Alert, we notice that you have a new SIM card, device unlock, but you can see the message. Do you want to unlock your device? But it said it's not un unlockable. You know, view device unlock policy. All right, guys, so now is the time to try in another way to unlock the device. All right, guys, so in order to unlock the phone, we need to turn on the developer options. We go to about the phone, and we're going to click on software information and the build number. We need to click it seven times. That's it. So now we have developer mode. We go back. Yeah, right here below about the phone developer options. And we're going to click on USB debug. That's all we need for this unlock, guys. USB debugging. We turn it on. Boom. And that's it. And look at this servicing your device, it says. Sorry about the refresh rate. It's crazy. I know it's so slow that you can still see it. Allowed access to phone data. I'm going to put allowed. Okay, guys, um, looks like the technician is servicing the device. And it's already restarting. So let's see if he's going to get the, the Metro thing. Okay, guys, bad news. Looks like this version, this software version, we cannot unlock. It needs to be bit 2 and this is bit 4, looks like. But how can we know without opening the, the device, you know? Here on the box, it doesn't say anything about the software version. On the LGs, it, it tells you the software version. And actually, I took a picture. I'm going to put it on the video. I took a picture of the LG Phoenix 4. And you can clearly see the Android version and the software version. So then you know not to buy it because you cannot unlock it. But on this one, you cannot unlock it um, if it's bit 4. Only bit 2, you can unlock. I think the Metro one, it's bit 2. But I don't know about that. And they say that you can see that on the build number about the phone, software information. So this build number should give you information about that. But to be honest, I don't know about that, guys. So, but bad luck. We couldn't unlock it. You know, it was a good try. But it's also valid, you know, because you can now you know that you cannot unlock the Samsung Galaxy A10e from Cricket, even though it's in the special, because it's bit 4, not bit 2. But now you know, guys, so I just wanted to inform you that. I'm going to try to return this phone. If not, I'm going to have to keep it. All right, guys? But that's how I do. But I buy this device to show you how to unlock it and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like if you like this video. 
and don't forget to subscribe if you want to support my channel so I can upload more videos for you. Have a great day. Bye.